Welcome to Jedediah Smith State Park. This is in very, very northern California, just south of the Oregon border along the 101. It's an excellent place to come and unwind for a day. I wouldn't even say a day. You can come in here for a couple hours. It's $8 to get in here and park. Eight bucks. Gotta wait for this Jeep. There's a guy hoping that Bernie Sanders is gonna get in the election. He will not. We're gonna go check out the trees first. The parking lot, which we will show you, was full. We had to go park down here at the beach side. As you can see, there's people swimming. That water isn't too bad. So I've been in it before. But we're gonna head uh, up into these coastal redwoods, big grove. Check that out. Let's go see what we can see. So there's some really big trees in here. You can see in relation to the two-year-old, there's some big ones. We're gonna take these little trails. There's a series of them in here and even a few official trails but we're just gonna walk around in the trees for a little bit and then go down to the water we'll show you that too so we're just gonna walk up the road the way we came in it looked like a nice little little trail actually just to follow we're gonna go up here to the upper side and make our way around and check it all out So it looks like there were maps, but they're not. I don't think this gets a whole lot of service. That looks like a abandoned office of some sort. So like I said, we're just gonna walk around. I think there's a nature trail at the top of this road. Uh, we're just enjoying these huge trees. The old redwoods. Some big ones in here. So we did find a trail, and this is probably the nature trail that would be discovered with a map, but there's no map, so we're just going to wing it. But we did find it, and I think they have some signs along the way. Pause there if you want to read about it. So we're just noticing this clover that's growing inside the tree. It's got some nice little flowers and Stay here, please. it's really Stay pretty. Here. I love it. All right, we're coming up on a big tree root here. I think they've got a little Thing to talk about it. The fallen trees nourish life. Just walking around. I think they've got some trail markers, but we don't know what any of those mean. <laughs> it looks like you can park right over there. Is wheelchair accessible over there? Yeah. So we're gonna head down a little bit more on the trail. I know you're not supposed to, but this would be epic mountain biking in here. <laughs> Got a nice little jump right here. Wouldn't doubt if somebody's actually done it. Well, that's kind of crazy. Looks like they, uh, like that broke off and in a storm or something. Kind of wrapping around here, headed back down the way we came. Maybe it'll do that. 
So they talk about in the thing over here about nurse logs and these logs can fall down and trees will grow on top of them and use the nutrients from them. So like this fern is growing out of the side of this down log and there are some other trees starting to grow out of it. It's pretty neat how the forest does that. Only in moist climates is that really possible, of course. This area gets a lot, a lot of rain. 200, minimum 200 inches a year of rain here. Up to 500 inches some years. So when you hear about them saying that, you know, fires are bad, especially in Southern California, they talk about that, but this is the truth of it that these plants need fire. That's how these things, you know, recycle the nutrients and it, all kinds of stuff happen. That's how they regenerate. So pause right there if you want to read about it. So these forests need to burn. That's part of their natural life cycle. And they are huge. You can see the burns at the base of it. Wow. This is a great trail for kids, guys. Our daughter is loving it. She's loving all the trees and the plants. So this one looks from a distance, looks like one big tree, but then you notice that it's actually one, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven, eight trees. Yeah, that are all kind of growing together. Let's see if it says anything about it. The coastal redwoods. Go ahead and pause and read. But yeah, there's like one main tree and then a bunch of little ones around it. I love that you come in and out of the sun. It's it's crazy. They like clearly somebody's maintaining this stuff, but then there's other parts of it that they just let it go. Old man's beard growing. It's a little bit of a rough area with some rocks and such. It says that it's handicap accessible. I don't know how it would be. <laughs> this is pretty rough for a wheelchair. But we're following it. We're going to head down, see where this goes. So it looks like we did the trail backwards from the parking lot. That's the way um, we w came from that way. And then it looks like you got, there's a beach trail that you can take. And we're gonna be walking along part of it. It's really pretty. Let's head down and see what we can see. Really green water down there through the trees. Super pretty. A lot of steelhead and salmon in these rivers. So a little ways down there's some stairs that can take you down to the water. Really good wading depth out there. It looks like you can walk around out there, no problem. Careful, Talks about the otters and herons and ducks and different animals. But we're just headed back toward the parking lot, but this is along the river now. A lot of poison oak along the way, guys, so just be careful. Leaves the three, let it be. There's some good and some bad in here, but Bad will ruin your day. Let's keep going. Come along, there's a little bench here. For you to rest and apparently carve your name in the wood. So here's a burned out log that you can get in. Probably a lightning strike a long time ago. Back into the woods from the river trail. It's it pretty thick in here. It's really pretty as you got the rapids over here to our left and you can hear the water. Big old log you can pause next to. Little sign here talking about Jedediah Smith in which the Smith River was named for. Mormon pioneer. explored this area a long time ago. 
course the natives are here first. So they, this is like the beginning of the trail coming from the other way. They do have a trail map. So pause there if you want to see it. We came from probably right here and we walked in this and started it right there and we've done all this. So that's the end of it it looks like. We made it to the end of the trail. Very nice. We'll film the rest of it though. There's still more. Very pretty spot to stop guys. Get out of the car. Take an hour and walk around this nature trail. That's really what this is about. This video is just to get you out of the car. So if you're headed north to Oregon, it's a great spot. Bust out some food, some hangout. So here's the mileage, the signage that should exist at the parking lot that <laughs> does not. But uh, we're parked in this day use area and it's just a half a mile guys, all the way around. It's not bad, it's a quick little trail. And it looks like we're coming back into some cars now. So here's our picnic area. It looks like people are using it pretty heavy. A lot of people barbecuing and such. Let's go check it out. Looks like people busted out their own barbecues, but check this out. Wow. That's really neat. It's old. It looks like people haven't used it in a long time. But it's the old Santa Maria. So you crank it and this lowers down on the fire. That's awesome. Too bad it's no good. And they got water for you guys. Not sure if it's drinkable, but probably. Really pretty. So we're back to the beach area where we parked. Of course, everything's cleared out of the parking lot. That happens every time to us. But you can see a lot of people like to back up here. And then you just go down and swim. That water is pretty mild. It's not bad. A little cool. But great swimming. Super clear water. They have, um, up there at the pay station, they have uh, life jackets that you can loan. They got on loan. So that's nice. Nice spot, guys. I can definitely see parking here, get your barbecue out. Pick up all your trash, though. It looks pretty clean otherwise. Great spot. You can jump over there. They got a rock you can jump off of that. Looks pretty deep over there. But in the spring, the water comes all the way up here. So you can imagine not that long ago, this was all underwater right here. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up from Jedediah Smith State Park. Hope you enjoyed this one and like always, if you like the videos, like and subscribe. And uh, you'll see plenty more just like it from Northern California and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. So on the way out, we noticed that this is the trailhead. We'll put that picture at the beginning for you guys.